it got to start from somewhere. You know yep. what I'm saying? Before, before you know, say whatever you will, but before Obama got elected, shit, before he was up on the, on the motherfucking stairs being sworn in, I know every nigga on this podcast was like, we ain't never going to we gonna see no black president in our lifetime. Right. Mm. Yeah, we did. You know what I'm saying? I, I know I, I for sure said it. I said mm-hmm. something at the time I was I was married to my white wife and she was said something about something something. This was before Obama was even up on it. But like we ain't gonna see no black president ever, not in my lifetime. Right. She reminded me, but <laughs> but still, so I'm saying so it it has to fucking start somewhere. We can't just keep accepting the fucking like status quo. You know. It'll never happen in my lifetime. Yeah. In my lifetime, shit like that, man. You gotta start somewhere. And if and if he fail, he's still pushing the needle. So he ain't failed. No. At all. So I don't care if a motherfucker lose, he's still making he's still waking people up to a new day. So you keep pushing, Gary. All right. Oh, you know what? This is in the wrong order. This is sports talk. Sorry, y'all. Some of these Twitter Twitter tabs and all these tabs look alike. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and actually, I thought Joe was gonna be here to talk about this one. So I don't know. Did y'all see the video when uh, Killer Mike was talking to uh, <laughs> Ursula Walker? I still can't oh, believe this thing is a viable candidate. Um, <laughs> no, I did not see that video, but I'm pretty sure it was entertaining. The dynamics of it has me interested. So huh. I mean, it's we're not gonna hold on. It's a 27 minute video. Tonight, on Love and Respect, your side wasn't necessarily pleased. Hold on. So you bring, let's, put, let's put it right here. Usually, when I'm, when, I'm, when I'm trying to find people that are running for office, they're hard, they're evasive. It's like yes. trying to find Batman in Gotham City. Now, you called me. Yes. yes. I was like, Michael, how you doing? I'd love to meet you. Um, everybody, uh, everybody on your side wasn't necessarily pleased you was called a, a Barney crack. Well, well, no, <laughs> but you, 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 didn't, you didn't mind, and you offered yourself. So thank you. No, thank you. You know, I've, I've watched you from afar, and, and I admire what you were doing for the city of Atlanta, and it's not had that I was running for office. It's just I admire. I'm sorry, dog. This nigga talk old stuff. This nigga say he was watching him from afar, dog. <laughs> The nigga, the nigga said they important the bad air. No, yeah, he said they got it from China. Yeah. The bad air. China. Yes. They they bought it in like they packaged it in Walmart. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, keep a I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna fast forward here and there so we can get some sound bites, but, but yeah. Suggestion, I said, guys, why don't we do this? I said, college is about education. Mm-hmm. I said, why don't we take the money that the athletes are going to make, put it in an endowment program, and what we do with that, the interest from it is to help underprivileged people to go to college. And once you come back to that school... It's called a fucking scholarship, Hirsch. Yeah, exactly, Hirsch. Well, that's, that's what that, that is. That's exactly what that scholarship is. So you is. still don't want niggas who you... Who are, <laughs> You still don't want this to get paid. This endowment going to be ran by who? The fucking university? Exactly. Go away, nigga. I'm, I'm going to keep playing. With a degree, I don't care what, from any university. This nigga ain't got a degree. <laughs> uh, he, he, he was valedictorian. Don't forget. He, he, was, he was top of his class. He, top, top he top lied to us. This nigga ain't got a fuck. This nigga, this nigga... Curled his slave lips to say they can only get money if they have a degree. Nigga, no. But he ain't got a degree. <laughs> hey, don't it sound familiar? Don't them talk- Whoa, but don't it sound? Don't them talking points sound familiar? We talked last week about old boy and paying back uh, them college loans. Same yeah. thing. Yeah, the talking points stand firm. So if he getting in line and towing the line, man, look up. He gonna be in office. <laughs> And here's my thing, though. It's like, I mean, it's, it's a whole nother topic, but he, he brought it up. It ain't like these motherfuckers getting money from the university. They getting the money from their motherfucking sales, whether it be people tuning into their YouTube channels, Instagram right. feeds, niggas buying their jerseys. So it ain't like the state coming up off that fucking money. So what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> not, not a damn thing. He you don't know what he's he, talking about. He's talking about keeping the college football system in line like the slave trade it was. I get it, dog. They 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 need <laughs> to, you know about. we get into a different topic. They need to stop bullshitting around with this. Just call it what it is, dog. It's the G League for football. 
That's what right. I mean. That's what college football I'm like, it's the goddamn it's it's the damn NFL G League. Stop bullshit. Yep. yep. Anyway, all right, my bad, y'all. When it, when it comes to motherfuckers don't want these kids to get paid, because that's top, I mean, only two percent of them, two to three percent of them go to NFL, NBA, whatever the fuck anyway. anyway. Right. Or or you go right. get fucked up in college. Or get they, and they monopolize your time and don't allow you to work. Yeah, you don't right. have to get your work. money. Get your so money. where you gonna get money from? Most of these cats ain't coming for money. Yeah, I say get all your money. And anybody got something to say? It ain't they fault. They can do shit you can't. Shut the right. fuck up. Enjoy the game. Exactly. <laughs> or the track meet. Or the tennis meet. Or whatever the fuck. They do shit that you can't do. Stop it. Stop. <clears throat> you Stop receive it. every cent you ever made because I want the emphasis to be on education. Uh, because I think studies have been shown that you take professional athletes that are made a lot of money. Okay. They don't do anything with money. Some of them have lost some the money. I said, if we're going to help to educate our young men on how to spend the money, how to keep the money, how to invest the money on taxes, then I can be for it. But right now, just to say, let's give the athletes money. And guess what college don't do? Help you to do that shit. But guess what, yeah, could, but guess what could do that? If you have for the football program or the basketball team or the track team or anybody in these NAIL deals, you have someone that comes in. Oh, wait a minute. They already fucking do that with the NFL. Shut your black ass up. <laughs> anyway, I had enough. I got to move on. This nigga makes me mad. <laughs> I told you he'll spark something. No, the, 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 the very fact that he is. That he'll spark something. Is this gonna be linked in the show notes? Yeah, it'll be in the show. Why well, you wanna watch the rest of it and be mad too? No, uh-uh, no, I'll watch it later tonight. It'll be in the show I'll notes. Be mad later. It'll be in the show be notes. Cause okay. if Thanos, if there was a Thanos, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm helping this nigga find the stones. I'm helping the, <laughs> the stones. I'm helping build the gauntlet. I'm doing all that shit. If I, hey, I, I, I look. If I gotta kick one of you niggas off a mountain to get the purple stone, I love y'all. But hey. <laughs> Somebody what, gotta go. What did it cost you? Everything. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm disgusted by all of this. I'm disgusted. And I don't know why this page keeps acting stupid. Oh, shit. Well, more fuck me for black people. Uh, black owned small. And this article, the headline's a little misleading. Black owned small business in the Deep South are the backbone of the region. It's time they had access to resources they need to thrive. It should read that if you make three times as much as your white counterpart, you are more likely to be denied a mortgage or a loan for your business. Mm. Yes, black businesses are important. Let's get all that. Uh, where is my where is my uh, paragraph at? I think I went past it. Sorry, y'all. Here's a quick fact. Black mortgage applicants in Mississippi earning more than $150,000 a year are denied at higher rates than their white applicants earning thirty to $50,000. Not thirty to $50,000 less. Thirty to $50,000. Period. Period. Home ownership is one of the key elements to building generational wealth and, eco and, e and economic security, but it has been out of reach for, for, for too many for, for, for too long. My mortgage not only enabled me to put down roots, but created a legacy for my children, which is very important. That's why, that's why um, when I was in the military, one of the big things we talked about was the GI Bill and how to help build the middle class for America. But mm -hmm. black soldiers were denied access to the GI Bill for a long time. And a lot of people hate to deny that fact that that helped create and shape what we, well, I mean, well, the middle class is slowly fading away, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It's but gone, bro. It's, yeah. Um, and, we, and, and the article's pretty good. It talks about lack of generational assets. Um, uh, I know we talked last week. It, it didn't get into this article about that. And it's something that a pod, I mean, I heard of redlining before, but breaking it down, how FDR pretty much just fucked a lot of Negroes out of being able to refinance their homes. And a lot of them lost their homes, whereas their white counterparts in white <coughs> areas that were not redlined were able to refinance and keep their, their homes and not go under. Once right. again, helping shape and build what we know as the middle class in America. Well, I just, Wyandotte County just had a really good redlining article come out probably very late last year, very early this year. And it's interesting to see because that, that our, 
being a lifelong resident of the DOT, where our redlining is, you can definitely see the different socioeconomic statuses and all of that that leads to like the poverty, the food deserts, the um, the increased violence, uh, poor school districts, so forth and so on. And so hearing this, you know, this article, basically you can make three to five times as much as your Caucasian counterpart and still be denied. That is another form of generational <clears throat> like wealth or or generational racism, systematic racism, all of that, just keeping people from being able to put down roots. Yep. Um, one more, one more paragraph here. In particular, entrepreneurs need access to affordable capital to start a business and get it on, get it on a secure footing. Did you know that only 13% of black-owned businesses and 20% of Latinx-owned businesses report receiving the full financing they request from banks? This is compared to 40% for white-owned companies. Black business owners uh, have told Hope, uh, I should have read the article, my bad, that with metrics uh, equal, that with metrics equal to or greater than white owned companies, they have walked out of local banks empty handed while seeing their white counterparts uh, granted commercial loans that are a lifeline to just about any small business seeking, seeking to grow. I think it's uh, I think it's another case of full circle, bro. We talked about Mississippi last week being the least progressive state in the entire, you know, lower lower forty eight. Yep. Uh, you know, even with them not, you know, doing nothing about the woman in Emmett Till. So, I mean, is it surprising that something like that in Mississippi is going on? No. Is it unfortunate and fucked up and you know, terrible and just another black eye on it? Yep. Yeah. I mean, realistically, down in Mississippi, what the fuck can we change down there? I mean, uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I mean, it, it, I, mean, I, mean, I don't know. What? I don't know ahead, what. Ahead. I don't know what would ever ever change it, but shit, you know, Texas, Florida, Mississippi is falling in line as. What what we call it with the worst states? What's that? What's that award? Did you gave the the asshole of America? Yeah, yes. that, yeah, the asshole of America, bro. I mean, but they've been the asshole of America and proud of it for a long time, I guess. Yeah, and and I hate saying nothing. I'm sure something could could be done, but it just seems like, um, as far as politically goes, and how that changes things and laws changes just like shit's just getting reversed and turning all bad and just nationwide. Right. So I, I really don't fuck. I, I don't know what to do with for Mississippi. I mean, I hate being a loss of words. I mean, I don't know. But you kind of are, you kind of are because you know, no matter what year, what decade, what time frame you're in, if you talk <laughs> about the state of Mississippi, it is the same. I mean, it's not, yeah, and it, it got moved, and it's the solid, and what what the foundation of that bullshit is. Yeah, but to hear those facts, to hear a hundred and fifty thousand dollars, as opposed to your white counterpart who's making a range of thirty to fifty thousand dollars, and they have a better right. chance of getting that mortgage. Are you fucking right. kidding me? I agree, but at that point, you as an intelligent individual knowing where you are and knowing, you know, what you do, do you just, I mean, do you stay there and fight it or do you just get up and go? You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, just, just leave. Because, right, but, but, but I'm, 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 I'm sure there are better places in this union, but I'm sure the percentage ain't that far, that far off throughout the well, U.S. And they say leave the state, bro. The state is, the, burn the whole shit down. Like, I'm saying leave the state because... No, I'm talking about I'm talking about other states in the union, though. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Trump, like... There are other places, but it, it's not like that. Like, yeah. it is literally civil right. Like, it's like 1960s it's a, down. oppression, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you you like to see niggas with picks on a railroad down there if you drive yeah. in the right place. You just cross yeah. the state line and just start... Mm, <laughs> man, went, hey, man, hey, bro, why you humming, huh? What, what? That was me? Yeah, nigga, we just they said welcome to Mississippi. You just started humming. Oh, my bad. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, my Lord, Lord, Lord. You did it again. You're doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, yeah. Larry, if I drive in Florida, I try to make sure I fill up and not be in Mississippi longer than an hour. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Hey, what Lucas say? Shake when you get to Georgia. <laughs> <laughs>